several places you should never meet your partner, even if you are married couples. Because some couples actually feel that because they are married, they are free to meet each other anywhere. That is wrong. Do not meet your partner in these several places. If you want to progress, if you want to keep progressing, if you want things to turn out well for you, because at times things are going on well, all of a sudden you see your life crashing down. Yes, crashing down. You are shocked what is happening. Nothing is happening. These are the things you do out of ignorance or fun. Number one, none of the natural bodies of water, that the sea, the ocean, the lake, the river. Do you know there are evil spirits in the sea? None of these waters. I know God created it. Of course, even the world that God created, there are demons dominating the world. Talk more of sea, water. Have you ever heard of water spirits? I'm not trying to put fear in your heart. Even if you are a Christian, you don't believe in such things. It is even a sin for you to start meeting your partner in water. That is the highest level of irresponsibility. God is even against it. What about the matrimonial bed? Yes, you have a matrimonial bed. Hold on that bed. See, let me tell you, even if you are married, it does not mean that it has to be all about that. You have to do it every time your mind is always there. Let me tell you, even if you are married, the major reason why God created these sexual activities is for procreation, not the sex craze that is everywhere. So please, if you want to keep progressing, succeeding, please, if you have been doing it, don't do it again. Number two, in the bathroom. You don't do such things in the bathroom. That is not a place meant for that. It's meant for bathing. Yes. If you keep on doing it in the bathroom, you are incurring evil things in your life. Yes. It does not have a good result. This brings lots of consequences. You might begin to doubt. You see people, if they are doing well, all of a sudden they come down. Why would a married couple go to the bathroom and start doing it? For what? That is the highest level of immorality. God himself is against it. When you make sexual activities your God, then what about the God who said? It is wrong. It is totally wrong. Number three, in the church or in the church premises. At times you see some group of youths or some youths, they go at the back of the church. They want to start doing it. Maybe after service or no service. Any day of the week you like, you go. It is wrong. Except you are lodging in a church hotel and you are couples. That is different. But around the church, it is not as if it is a lodge for couples. At the back, at the front, inside, you are committing abomination. There are things that should not be done in the house of God. This can instantly kill your progress. When you do such things, you are inviting sexual demons that will torment you and make your life a living hell. That's the truth. You are opening doors for the devil to come in and bring problems to your life. So do not try it no matter what. The next public places. Do not have sex or meet your partner and another eye is viewing it. This is worse than incest. It happens. In this craze of technology, you see people having sex. Another person is looking at you. Even those who act porn, a cameraman is there watching you in the act. That is an abomination. Do not have sex and a third person is there watching you. You are defining God's will of this sex. That's the truth. Whether you are married or single, it is the same thing. Do not have sex and a third party is watching you. Except you don't know. These things should be private. For another person to even see your body other than your partner is even wrong. Talk more, watch you in the act. You can incur sickness. This can cause premature death. This can cause poverty, ruin. When you invite the demons into your life, what do you expect? <laughs> do you expect pleasure? Of course, pain and tears. The next, on the bed floor, do not meet your partner on the floor. Even if you are couples, a floor you step on, you walk on, you can sit on the floor. 
You can lie on the floor, but you are not supposed to meet your partner on the floor. Do it on the ground. You are bringing yourself down. And immediately you start doing such things. Everything about your life starts coming down. Yes. You see, everything about your life starts coming down because you want it down. See, these sexual activities is more than the way you see it. It's more like you are sharing your blood, sharing your covenant. There are people, they have no madness in their family. The moment they meet a person that has such, they take it. So be careful. And this is why God is kicking against fornication. A very strong sin, but people see it as normal. It is not normal. Fornication is not normal. You see some women giving you excuses. If I don't do it, he will not marry me. There is no excuse. What is wrong is wrong. You obey God first. Let's see if God will not give you who will obey you. So on the floor is wrong. You are not honoring your body. Your body is a temple of God. You are not honoring God. Sexual activities between couples, of course, is for procreation. When you do it, you honor God because God created it. God is not against it. But the moment you take it down from your bed to the floor, that is out of it. So the positions and the places you do this at matter a lot. I'm just telling you the truth. The nest under the tree. Do not meet your partner under the tree or on the tree. No. A tree is a plantation of God. It has a different purpose. The moment you start meeting your partners on the tree or under the tree, you are defiling the sanctity of your matrimony. Believe it or not. It is wrong. You are going against the will of God. Because first of all, that is even an open place. Any other eye can see you, which is extra wrong. Because you are married, does not mean you can go on the street and start making out. And you think it's not a sin. It's a big sin. Yes. On the tree, under the tree is wrong. Because that place was not created for that purpose. You are incurring the punishment of God. You see many people, their marriages start scattering. Yes, things going down. Everything is going worse in your life because of these common mistakes. Please do not. Finally, around little children. Many couples are guilty of this. They will tell you they live in one room apartment and their daughter is sleeping or their children are sleeping. You see them doing what they are doing. See, even if a child is sleeping, it is an abomination for you as a parent to have it when your child is there. You don't know what you are doing. This annoys God very well. We are not even looking at the probability that that child might not be sleeping. And most of these children learn bad things through this process. Let's leave that outside. Even if they are sleeping or they were to be sleeping, for you to do such things, and your children, they are there even if they are sleeping. You have committed abomination. Yes, even if you have children, you live in one room. You can do it in the afternoon. Take them out. Let them go and play. Lock your door. See, you don't know the pain you will bring to yourself. The consequences of that action, of meeting your partner where your children are, even if they are sleeping, even if that child is a newborn baby. In a basket, a baby basket. Don't do it. Don't do it. You don't even place value on that child. That activity alone around children is an abomination. This causes several things that we don't even imagine. Strong sickness, problems. Please, don't do it. Anywhere you know that a child might be there, don't do it. Even an adult should not be seeing you talk more of a child. That is very, very wrong. That was not the purpose God created sexual activities. So I hope you have taken note of these things. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure the bell notification is turned on. Do well and give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends. God bless you.